Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, welcome to lecture number 17. So, whatever we have done till now, so we will solve the problem related to that. So, let us start with the problem. So, problem is it is stated like this given x0 equal to 0 0.68 r. Y0 equal to 0 0.52 r and Z0 equal to 0 0.18 r. Similarly, x dot 0 minus 2.2 kilometers per second, Y0 dot equal to 28.1 kilometer per second. per second. Ten to the power eleven kilometer cubic per second. This is the planetary gravitational constant. In this case, this is for the sun and uh, what the r is appearing here. So, basically I will put this, this as r 0. So, this is indicating R 0 is indicating one astronomical unit. This is the mean distance of the earth from the sun and this one astronomical unit this becomes equal to uh, this is equal to 149.5 into 10 to the power 6 kilometers that means uh, it's around 15 crore kilometer as we may be knowing so 149.5 million kilometers and this data is for an asteroid moving in heliocentric orbit heliocentric orbit heliocentric means it is a moving about the sun this is called the centered about the sun similarly geocentric means centered about the earth. So, this is a heliocentric data as if it may be apparent from this place. So, what is required that you find out the uh, uh, find out the parameters. So, what we have to do find a e small i capital omega small omega theta. So, here in this case, we start one by one writing all the things. So, first we find out what is the value of r. So, r equal to r 0 or we can use maybe we can use some other notation to, uh, I will make it capital R 0 so that we do not confuse it with any other term. 
capital R 0. capital R 0. So, here in this place also So, first we have to find out R. So, x 0 y 0 all these things are given. So, R becomes x 0 square plus y 0 square plus z 0 square under root and this is given to be 0 0.68 square plus 0 0.52 square plus 0 0.18 square under root times R 0, where R 0 is 1 astronomical unit. Okay, so, this gets reduced to 0 0.87475 R 0. on a small calculator whatever the values have appeared I have just written it because here truncating a lot of uh, error we do. So, unless it is a desirable we will not truncate it. So, this is our r and similarly uh, the v becomes equal to x dot 0 square plus y dot 0 square plus j dot under root and this value is given as minus 2.2 28.1 square and 2.6 square under root. So, v square we can write as 801.21 kilometer square per second square or v we can write as 28.305 kilometer per second. So, these are the quantities we are going to use this is 1 2. So, now these things are available can we find out A? A equal to already we know that we write it as R divided by 2 minus R V square R V square divided by mu. So, this is the expression we have used. So, here in this case R equal to 0 0.87475 R 0 divided by 2 minus R v square by mu we have to evaluate R 0 we are aware of. Okay. So, R 0 uh, this R we are aware of from this place and v square is nothing but 801.21 and mu as usual we know this is uh, 1.3275 something. So, this is mu. So, this r we have to insert and the mu value we have written here this we have to insert in that expression and work it out. So, a this will turn out to be if you insert those values and r 0 1 astronomical unit 149.5 into 10 to the power 6 kilometers. So, these things are given r is also given here in this place. So, these values are all known. So, if you compute this turns out to be around 0 0.7226 r. So, uh,
so a becomes equal to 108.03 into 10 to the power 6 kilometer so this is your semi major axis okay for calculating any other thing x y z is given so for other for calculating other parameters we need to work out h also where h is the quantity r cross v magnitude so this also we need to work out so h equal to r cross v magnitude this quantity can be written as yz dot minus y dot z square already we have written uh, worked out expression for this so the same expression i am using here So, this is the x component of the this h vector h, this is y component and this is z component. So, you can see that corresponding x is missing here, y is missing here, z is missing here and this is symmetric in nature y z. So, y dot z dot and because it is a square. So, if you write either y dot z first and y z dot afterwards with a minus sign. So, it does not matter here in the particularly here in this case, but each component itself must be written correctly where, where h, h 1 is y z dot minus y dot z this way you have to write ok. Otherwise, uh, this will not be correct, but here it is ok because we are taking the uh, squaring and taking the under root. So, these quantities we have to work out here. So, separately we write each of the quantities so inserting the values for y z dot y dot and z we get this as 13.734 r0 square Uh, this quantity is here not a small r this is r 0 ok where r 0 is this quantity here as it is appearing here. So, this is here r 0 ok similarly here this is r 0 square the astronomic astronomical unit we are writing in terms of that. And once we add them and take the square root, so it turns out to be 20.702 R0. And what is the what will be the unit of this? Here h equal to r cross v magnitude. So h is written as kilometer, v is written in kilometer per second therefore, the unit of this will be kilometer square per second. So, h is in kilometer square per second. Okay, so, once we have got h and mu is also available to you, mu is known. So, l can be worked out l equal to h square divided by mu. So, 
r 0 whole square and divided by mu which is uh, we have written 1.32715 into 10 to the power 11. Okay. Okay, and with this quantity, now L equal to A times 1 minus E square. Okay, therefore, A is known to us, L is known from this place. So, 1 minus E square, this becomes L by A and E square equal to 1 minus L by A. And if we take the under root of this, E is a positive quantity. So, this becomes E equal to 1 minus L by A under root. So, th this is also simply we can write as H square by mu A. So, all the things known here, if A is already known in terms of R 0, here if you look here in this part, so this is known in terms of R 0 and therefore, we can calculate this quantity E. Therefore, E equal to 1 minus or E a square equal to 1 minus h square divided by mu a. So, h square is 20.702, 20.702 whole square by mu is 1.32715 uh, into 10 to the power 11 and a is the quantity we have written as Zero point seven two two six R zero. Okay, this quantity we are utilizing. Okay. So this is uh, H square and uh, divided by mu A. and R 0 square is remaining. So, R 0 square 149.5 into 10 to the power 6 whole square and R 0 here uh, actually we could have cancelled. Okay, if we write in terms of R square, if you see here this R 0 square is there and A you are writing once we write it E equal to 1 minus H square by mu A. So, A will write in terms of once we are writing in terms of a square. So, what we will do that uh, one step will not expand here, we will first write it as R 0 square. So, R 0 R 0 cancels out one more step will write 20.702 square R 0 divided by 1.32715 5 into 10 to the power 11 times 0 0.7226. Now, R 0 value this can be inserted here. So, we will rub it out and R 0 value then we are inserting this equal to 149.5 into 10 to the power 6 and once this is worked out so, this will be 1 minus 0 0.6681097 or E turns out to be 0 0.5761. So, this is another orbital parameter. So, A we have got as uh, 
point zero three into ten to the power six kilometers. E is a dimensionless quantity, and this is a dimensional quantity, dimension of length. Okay, next. Uh, we can determine capital omega because in th this process that is the most easiest one Okay, I will verify the, we have already derived the equation, but I will verify it once that uh, everything goes correctly. Okay, cos i equal to x y dot minus y times x dot times y divided by h. This is fine. Okay. So uh, this value already we have computed x y dot this quantity four hundred ten point one four three r zero square four hundred ten. One four three the square root value. Here. So the quantity is available from this place, but here this is a squared one. So we have to be careful. We cannot utilize it. We need proper sign once we take the square root. So this we have to take care of. So I will be cos inverse. This computation you can do it yourself because I have done it on calculator. And uh, I have not written those values here. So cos inverse zero point nine seven eight two six two nine, whatever I have got the value I am writing here, and I equal to eleven point nine six eight degree. That is what we have got here. The cos I equal to zero point nine seven eight two. Six two nine. So you know that the cos is positive in this quadrant and the first and the fourth quadrant. So why we are not picking up the fourth quadrant value? Because I is confined to zero to hundred eighty degree. Once hundred eighty degree, it is the same orbit. But see, uh, once it's uh, going like this, hundred eighty degree, this. Totally, it reverses, but the orbit will be the same. That means the satellite will be going here in this direction. This is the retrograde orbit. So either way, you can write this equal to this 180. If you do not want to indicate this, but both are okay. So I equal to 11.968 degrees. So this way we have got the inclination. So how many parameters we have got? Parameters. This is I here, which is the inclination angle. E here, A here. So total three right now we have got. So the other things we have to find out. Say with these parameters, we can know 
ultimately what is the objective of getting all these things objective is that if we know these parameters on the surface of the earth suppose this is my ground location ok. So, from the ground here in this direction we have z and here we write as x and in this direction as the y toward the north ok and satellite is going somewhere let us say uh, it is a going here in this orbit from this place ok. So, satellite is somewhere here ok. So, if you look into this frame where I have written x y z. So, this frame it looks like x t y t and z t this is the north direction this is the east direction and this is radially outward ok. So, there are many corrections what altitude you are there and so on, but for the our purpose right now we should not go into all those things. So, if we know these values ok and uh, at what is the present time and also we need to discuss all those issues uh, how to locate our Greenwich line. So, there, there are many issues in doing this. So, we will come to that in the orbit uh, uh, determination chapter uh, this is uh, corresponding to preliminary orbit determination topic week 9. So, at that time we will take up this issues ok. So, from there once we this is your row vector ok from here to here. So, this is your row vector and if I draw a perpendicular. So, this I call as the azimuth angle from here to here and this angle I call as the elevation angle A z is azimuth and E l is elevation angle. So, I will be able to know what is the azimuth angle if my A e i is capital omega small omega theta all these things are known. So, from there I can go and find out this azimuth elevation rho and rho dot all these things can be determined. So, what then the benefit is that if you know the azimuth and elevation. So, as the satellite is passing over your head see here I cannot show all those things very clearly. So, somewhere we have to drop a perpendicular from this place ok to this plane and from here then this will come to this place. So, x uh, z is z, z is going radially outward ok remember z is going radially outward. So, I will make it solid this is not above. So, this is the x t and here this is y t. So, this angle from here to here uh, I will have to make a separate figure for this. This is x t, this is z t going outside and uh, satellite is located somewhere there. So, I will remove this part. and z t I will show by some other color this is your z t and uh, x also I will show by some other color x and this is y and your row vector is located in the space somewhere in this place. So, you need to drop a perpendicular from this place to the this is the y t and x t plane ok. 
So, you will drop it on the surface of the earth as it is shown here. This is the x t, y t and this is the z t. So, this perpendicular is dropped from this place to this place and then it is a components are taken. So, in the this topocentric frame, in the topocentric frame we get the elevation and azimuth and therefore, we can orient our radar radar can be oriented and you can track the satellite as you know rho, rho and rho dot also how this uh, rho is varying uh, rho which is the range and rho dot which is the range rate. Okay. So, these things we can uh, using all these information we will be able to move our radar. Okay. So, if we can program it and radar can be moved automatically by the servo system and uh, satellite will be tracked whenever it is available. So, at that time the radar will uh, start tracking that and uh, all these things can be computerized on the computer it is a uh, very easy to do by hand it will be uh, uh, a very uh, big task. Okay. So, our objective is to get all these parameters and ultimately this is used for preliminary preliminary orbit determination which we write as POD or the general orbit determination which we write as GOD. Okay. So, with these three parameters rest all these three we need to work out. Now, sin capital omega this quantity is with a z dot z dot x uh, j, the second one sorry what we are taking here sin capital omega we are working. So, y z dot minus y dot z dot divided by h sin i this is ok and here there is plus sign. ok. So, sin i and h all these things are known. So, if we insert these values sin i from the previous part 11.968 11.968 and h is also known to us which is a positive quantity though perhaps I have not written anywhere it's pro this is 20.702 r 0 20.702 20.702 r 0 and rest other we have to fill in. So, y we know y value how much we have taken 0 0.52 r 0 52 r 0 times z dot which is 2.6 kilometer per second and y dot is y dot z z which uh, z is 0 0.18 r 0 and uh, y dot is 28.1. Okay, so, you can see that r 0 r 0 will cancel out. So, 0 0.52 into 2.6 minus 28.1 into 0 0.18 divided by 20.702 sin 11.968. So, the quantity on the right hand side this this part the second term this is greater than this term and therefore, this turns out to be negative quantity. So, sin capital omega this equal to minus 0.86326. Similarly, cos capital omega we utilize the relationship and this cos capital omega is 
z times x dot minus x times z dot divided by h sin i and there is a minus sign before this. So, the same way if we insert all these values. So, this turns out to be 0 0.504 with uh, uh, ok. We will write one more step to work it out. z equal to 0 0.18 r we will take it outside and x dot equal to 2.2 with minus sign. So, we will pl place the minus sign before this. So, we will place a minus sign here okay. and minus x equal to 0 0.68 r 0. So, r 0 we are taking it outside and z 0 dot is 2.6 equal to 2.6 times r 0 divided by h is 20.702 r 0 sin 11.968. Okay. So, if we now work it out and one sign also we have to place here this equal to with minus sign. So, if we see here uh, this is negative, this is negative, this term is negative, this term is negative. So, that makes it positive, this is a positive term, all these are positive r 0 r 0 will cancel out. So, these two they drop out. So, negative plus negative that makes it positive. So, we should get a positive quantity. So, here in this case we get this as 0 0.504. So, this is cos capital omega. So, this is x and y. Now, looking into this quadrant cos is positive and sin is negative. So, sin is sin is positive in this quadrant, sin is positive here, sin is negative here and sin is negative here in this quadrant. And then cos is positive here, cos is negative here in this place, cos is negative here in this place okay. and uh, cos is positive here in this place. So, what we have cos is positive and sin is negative. So, that we have to look for this. So, this falls under this category. Okay. So, that is this is lying in the fourth quadrant and therefore, once you solve it. So, you get capital omega equal to 300.277 degree. This may not be very accurate result as I have done on very elementary calculator, but it my intention is to show you the principle and how to work it out that is all. There may be some small error here and there that once you work yourself, so uh, you will find the uh, exact result on a better calculator. Okay, so, this way we have been able to work out four elements, we are left with two more elements. Okay, we for finding out theta, if you remember, we need to know alpha. So, what is the alpha here? alpha angle we have used in the context of somewhere this is the velocity vector, this angle we have written as alpha and this angle we have written as phi or beta. So, beta is the flight path angle cos 
quite often this is also indicated with phi. This is the radial direction ER cap, this is the V direction, this one. So, this is your V. So, R dot V, this will be nothing but x x dot plus y y dot plus z z dot. On the left hand side, this will be R v cos alpha plus y y dot plus z z dot and then cos alpha we have written as plus y y dot plus z z dot divided by R v because r and v both are known to us and x x dot all these things are known to us therefore, cos alpha can be determined and remember that what will be the value of alpha this is very important to say this I have an elliptical orbit. Okay. So, if I take at this place this is your theta and v vector is somewhere tangential to this, this is the theta direction E theta cap. So, this is E theta cap and here this is the E r direction. So, this is your alpha and this is flight path angle phi or beta. Okay. So, here in this place this is the E r direction and this is the E theta cap direction. So, this angle is uh, the V direction is also here in here. So, th this is 90 degree. On this side if you come, so E r becomes here in this direction, this is E theta cap while V will be along this direction. So, here this is obtuse angle. So, what is happening here in this case that alpha it will be limited to 0 to 180 degree. Once it it is a not more than that, it will lie between alpha equal to 0 and 180 degree. Now, let us see where here this is 90 degree anywhere it is a going to lie beyond this range. Once we come here in this place again we see this is the r vector and v vector is here okay. and r and v this is the 90 degree angle from here it increases and again this becomes 90 degree. So, here it is a decreasing. So, this is not going to exceed uh, you are not getting this value you are getting alpha between 0 and 180 degree. If it is in this orbit now here in this case therefore, cos alpha alone it suffices to determine the value of alpha because in the range 0 to 180 degree cos alpha will give you correct value of alpha. So, this is this is the reason I uh, detailed it here. Okay. So, therefore, we work it out and write it here. So, cos alpha I will write the value you can check it yourself 54862. and uh, also we have r cross v magnitude this equal to h or r v sin alpha this we have written as h. So, therefore, sin alpha equal to h by r v and uh, h equal to 20.702 times r 0 divided by r is 0.87 four seven five R zero times V uh, V is eight uh, V is eight zero one point two one square root. This is V. This is V. Okay. So therefore sin alpha we get as zero point 
एट थ्री सिक्स जीरो सेवन एंड कॉस अल्फा वी गेट एस फिफ्टी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फोर एट सिक्स टू सो बोथ आर पॉजिटिव सो एज पर आवर अलियर डिस्कशन देर फॉर द अल्फा वैल्यू विल बी गिवन बाई फिफ्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन थ्री डिग्री दिस इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली दिस वैल्यू दिस विल बी एक्यूट एंगल एज पर आवर डिस्कशन हियर ऑन द प्रीवियस पेज हियर बोथ आर पॉजिटिव सो इट्स ओनली इन द फर्स्ट क्वारेंट सो अकॉर्डिंगली वी हैव डिजोल्व दिस वैल्यू दिस रेजोल्यूशन इज रिजोल्विंग दिस थिंग इज वेरी मच रिक्वायर्ड इफ यू पुट ए रॉन्ग एंगल दैट मीन्स यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ हैवर्क इन द सैटेलाइट प्रॉब्लम सो till now uh, still we have not done uh, the calculation of theta so we are going in the next step to calculate theta now we use the relationship derived earlier e sin theta this equal to rv0 square sin alpha times cos alpha by mu and uh, e cos theta equal to r v 0 square cos square alpha divided by mu minus 1 and if we are looking for sin theta and cos theta e is already known to us so we can divide it bring it on this side so maybe i can rub it out and put it here like this so here this will become 1 minus e so uh, we'll do it later on okay so we'll do it later on so we need to insert all these values so e sin theta then r v 0 square by mu so we need to insert all these values 0.87475 0.87475 0.87475 v0 square is 801.21 and then sin alpha right now we have worked out on the previous page cos alpha and divided by mu which is 1.32715 into 10 to the power 11 so if you divide it by e so sin theta from here it's a 0.62 Eight six six four something like this. You will obtain. Okay. Now next, e cos theta. These are not minus sign. E cos theta equal to R V zero square. So we put the same way. Four seven five R zero V zero square is eight zero into eight zero one point two one. And cos square alpha divided by mu one point three two seven one five into ten to the power eleven minus one, and therefore cos theta from this place this will turn out to be minus seven minus point seven seven eight zero three. So this is a negative quantity. Sine is a positive quantity. and cosine is a negative quantity so again going back and looking here sin is a positive quantity and cosine is a negative quantity so that means your theta value is lying in the second quadrant okay therefore once we solve it so we get here theta equal to 141.05 degree so this is in the second quadrant okay so uh, we have got theta then we need omega so how many things we have already done we have done a e i capital omega theta only thing the omega part is remaining okay so for that we need to use the expression we have developed earlier
So, we use this expression in the last class we have derived it uh, last class means in the lecture number perhaps uh, 15 we we have worked out 15 14 or 15 something like that you can look back into that so this 0 0 symbol i will remove from here as i have used earlier and now insert the corresponding values. So, sin omega plus theta 0 that becomes minus 0 0.68 sin 300 uh, capital omega we have got 300.277 perhaps 300.277 300.277 and cos i we have got as 11 point something i is eleven point nine six eight eleven point nine six eight degree all these are in degree plus y is 0 0.52 and obviously r 0 is there so r 0 will be taking it outside okay. r 0 is multiplied by th this quantity also with this quantity so i am taking it outside already the bracket then cos from this place capital omega 300.277 cos 11.968 both places cos i is there so not a problem and then plus z or z is 0 0.18 r 0 will again go from this place to this place. So, we have sin 11.968 and this divided by r which is the position. So, position is we have already calculated that also 0 0.87475. Zero point R zero point eight seven four seven five R zero. This so this is the value here. So using this value times R zero. So this R zero and this R zero they cancel out, and then we get computing this omega plus theta 0 0.9925 similarly we can write cos omega plus theta 0 this equal to x 0 cos capital omega plus y 0 sin capital omega divided by r 0 or r. So, inserting all these values one step of more I will take 0 0.68 r 0 being taken common cos 300.277 plus y 0 is 0 0.52. 5 to sin 300.277 and r 0 the same way divided by bracket close 0 0.87475 times r 0. Okay. So, this r 0 and this r 0 this drops out and we get this quantity as minus this will be the uh, plus quantity not minus uh, let me check here 
this is negative sin 300 and this is positive Okay, this will come with a negative sign. So, minus 0 0.12076. Okay. Now, we need to work out in which quadrant it is a line. Okay. So, you can see that here this is positive and this is negative. So, this tells that it is going in the second quadrant. So, that way the omega plus theta this should turn out to be 96.994. Okay. So, already we have observed that the theta value theta value we have computed somewhere sin theta we have done here theta equal to 148 141.05 uh, degree so, this is the theta we have computed, and this is the true anomaly. So, once we have done this, and in this place, what we see that omega plus theta is coming less than that, that means what is happening here in this case, we go in the next page. Actually, you are looking for uh, this is your theta theta suppose this is 90 more than that 141 point something it, it's a going like this it's a 141 point something okay so this is your theta now in the orbit omega is lying somewhere here and theta we have shown somewhere here. This is the perigee position and this is omega. From here to here this is omega and from here to here this is theta. This is the satellite here. So, this perigee position P is here. What we are showing here in this place in 3 D in the plane of the orbit this P appears here in this place. So, already theta is 141 point something degree and uh, from here this place omega plus theta is turning out to be less than that. So, what is the reason for coming like this? So, the reason is that your omega is large that means instead of perigee lying here now you go below the x y plane this is the x plane x and y plane and the, the z plane is here. So, go below this. So, from here then you will be measuring omega to certain value which is large. So, let us say that I subtract omega plus theta whatever the value we are getting 96.994, 96.994 degree. So, what I will do that I will add to this omega plus this value I will add 4 plus 360 degree and then from there I subtract this theta 141 point zero 0.05 zero 0.05 degree this will subtract. So, instead of doing using this we are adding this why we are adding because your omega is not limited to this place, but omega is going somewhere like here this and 
coming is some to the, this place and this is the then perigee position is lying here and then from here then you are measuring theta angle somewhere ok. So, the and once you look for that so say the theta angle it will go let me show by all other color it goes somewhere else ok and this is your the satellite. So, this is the theta angle then now once we are calculating uh, this uh, theta value uh, this I will make it little more clear let me remove this what we are trying to do here you should understand it properly. So, what I told that the perigee position is lying here in this pool, this place and to this if I add further theta from here the satellite is displaced. So, from this place the so the perigee is not lying here ok as we have assumed this is your omega. So, perigee is not lying here rather it is a lying here in this place. So, we measure from the nodal line this is my nodal line n n prime and this is O here. So, from the nodal line we are measuring the angles. So, this is perigee location. Okay. So, this is going below the uh, this is going below the x y plane and always from the perigee position you are measuring the theta angle. So, we need to measure the theta angle starting from this point I have to start from this point and go wherever the satellite is located. So, I have to go till this that point ok. So, this problem arises because of this particular situation omega plus theta it is a turning out to be only 96.994 degree while theta is large. So, that means we should add 360 degree to this and subtract 140 degree and if we do that. So, this turns out to be 315.0863 degree. So, this is omega and theta is your 141.05 degree. Now, you can see that from this place to this place this may be around uh, this plane is inclined ok. This is something like uh, if we look in the x y plane if this is the x y plane. So, your orbit is inclined like this. So, in this plane we are trying to measure this angle ok. So, some, something it looks something like this suppose this is the inclined plane. So, in this plane so in this plane we are measuring the angles. So, perigee is located somewhere here and the your nodal line is located somewhere here perigee can be located anywhere it is not necessary that it is uh, located here in this place. So, uh, we are measuring our angle here in this case from the nodal line to this place and theta will be measured from this place onward. So, exactly the same thing we have done here we have measured the periapsis line which is coming in this place to this this is our omega and from here then we will go to whatever the value the wherever the satellite is located. So, here in this case this turns out to be 315 degree approximately and this one turns out to be theta turns this is your theta this turns out to be 141.05 degree. So, this completes the this problem of working out the orbital elements. So, this way you know what are the orbital parameters. So, out of this this parameter this will change of this because this is corresponding to a x y z and x dot y dot z dot of a particular time instant let us say t 0. So, over a period of time this theta will differ this will not remain the same this theta is a variable rest others will they will vary. So, we stop this here ok. So, this completes this problem and uh, whatever was required to understand this problem I explained it here bit by bit. So, I hope uh, this uh, 
helps you in solving other problem. Thank you very much.